Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my spoilery review of A Series of Unfortunate Events Season 2. So Season 2 premiered on March 30th, so I was highly anticipating it. I grew up, like, I never read Harry Potter growing up um, until I was in going into high school. So A Series of Unfortunate Events for me was really the series that I grew up with reading. And I remember my parents took me to Borders to get the last book, and I finished it in one day. Like, I love this series, and I always... And I saw myself as Violet because I was really into kind of inventing and all that. So I really just really love this series. And so when Netflix announced a couple years ago that they were doing a TV series on this, I was really excited. And um, <laughs> like I remember one books one through three pretty well. And so when season one came around, I was like, okay, I remember this. And they stuck pretty good. Like they stayed very true to the books while also kind of expanding on it a little bit more and like the world and kind of what's going on with VFD and we kind of get to see a behind the scenes of this secret organization. So season two, I was really excited and kind of after that's I was like, when I was looking at the ones that the episodes would be based on, they'd be based on books five through nine. So I was like, I don't remember any of these. I know I really liked the hospital one, but I was like, I don't remember anything about this. And I didn't even read like a synopsis for it because I was like, I just want to kind of go into this blind not knowing too much. I mean, I know that they kind of added to this plot, but I think again, like they did a good job of staying true to the book, but also expanding this world as well. So we do get to see Jacques oh, stick it in here as well, who's kind of, you know, related to Lemony Snicket and all that stuff so that was really neat to see we kind of got to see more of this like like I said more of the secret organization I really also enjoyed the character of Olivia who was the librarian and so it was really nice to see kind of a an adult character that wasn't just kind of you know an idiot and like all that stuff who was actually smart and cared about these kids and like believed them so I really enjoyed that it's sad that they did kill her off um so, you know, I was a little bit disappointed with that, but I was like, I think I remember how this one ends and with that character. So I really enjoy kind of expanding that role and seeing that as well. And I think, like I said, like it also, we get, I feel like I'm learning more. Like I know the book series left with a lot of unfinished answers and I think that's the way this TV show is going as well. But I feel like we're also kind of learning more as well. So I've been really enjoyed kind of seeing that as well and just kind of expanding and introducing new characters that weren't necessarily like discussed in the books and kind of expanding those roles and I think that adds like a new flavor to it while also kind of staying true to the books as well. Again, the performance of Count Olaf is really good. I really think they do a good job with disguises in here and um, in particular Neil Patrick Harris does a really good job with kind of taking on that persona of that character so it's really good seeing that and just it's always interesting to see like who Count Olaf is going to be and just the persona he kind of encapsulates during this time so I really enjoy seeing that and just the costumes and again the child actors of Violet, Sunny and Klaus I really enjoy seeing them here like I it's how I pictured them when I was reading the books when I was younger and just seeing them here as well and I really like just how they're resourceful and smart and they have a love for books which is something I really appreciate and also in here along with the new characters as well we do get Esme who I don't I I feel like I don't remember her I don't know what it is like I'm like for some books like I can remember everything about them and then for others it's like I don't remember nothing I think that's how it is with this character too like she is evil the actress does a very good job but you just like really hate her and like oh, she I feel like she's almost worse than Count Olaf because she's like psychologically manipulative and then like she's both physically and mentally abusing and I think more so than Count Olaf like Count Olaf is like physically intimidating like because he's a murderer but I feel like Esme is kind of a bad mix of both so like I really like could not stand her character in a good way saying like the actress did a good job of performing like being that character and like like I really was just like oh, I really really hate her I think out of these episodes the ones that I didn't like the most were the ones where I think it was the vile village the one where they're kind of in the middle of nowhere um episodes seven and eight I think those are the ones that I didn't like the most I felt like I don't know I felt like Hector the guy who played him was just kind of like 
I don't know, he wasn't really, I don't know, he was kind of a weak character, I want to say, like just how he was presented. So that one was the one I kind of just didn't like the most and yeah. I, I really liked the um, the one where they're at the academy, like that one as well, and then also the carnival one. So I think I would give this as a whole four out of five stars. I think they did a really good job of living up to the expectations that the first season did, but also kind of expanding this world as well, introducing new characters, which I think was my favorite part of this. And I do think Olivia was the best kind of addition to the series because she just wasn't like a, you know, a very passive adult that was just kind of very oblivious to everything and she was actually smart and all that stuff so I really was sad to see that character go but I'm very interested to see how the season concludes in season three whenever that comes out um, so yeah just how it all concludes and from what I remember from the books it was it didn't answer a lot of questions for book 13 from what I remember so I'm hoping this will do kind of a bed better job at wrapping everything up but still kind of leaving a mystery to it but we kind of get a better conclusion and I'm interested to see especially with Beatrice how she kind of just survived this whole time and yeah I'm interested I'm excited so yeah please let me know in the comments below if you are have you watched this and like what your thoughts and opinions are and how it's going to conclude in season three because I just finished it. I'm like, oh, I really want to go back and watch it from the beginning. But I think kind of kind of closer to season three coming out probably next year, um, then I'll probably go back and watch from the beginning. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of five stars. I thought it's really good. It's a unique style of TV that sometimes it's a little bit ridiculous at times, but it works with the overall like mood and feeling and atmosphere of the show so yeah i was pretty pleased and i cannot wait till season three comes out so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments below if you've watched season two and what your thoughts and opinions are and if you're excited for three, season three please let me know uh so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye guys